<laughs> okay. Um, so what we need to do, ladies and gentlemen, is solve the system. Now remember, when solving the system, we're going to be dealing with uh, two or more equations. All right. Now, the difficult thing about this is we have two different lines. They're not in y equals mx plus b form, nor um, are they looking in standard form, where we can see all the x's and the y's. However, uh, we can write them in different formats. But the way that I like to do both of these, when I have an x equals 2 and a y equals 0, and I only have one variable, I just like to create a table of values. And that's going to be the easiest way for me to plot these two points. So if I create a table of values, rather than using like the y equals mx plus b form or the, slow, or the intercept form, I can just create a table of values. So let's create a table of values for x equals 2. x equals 2. Does x equal anything else? No. So it doesn't matter what table of values you want to pick, x is always going to equal 2. Then the important point comes in, well, what values do you want to pick for y? Well, let's just pick whatever we want to. Negative 2, let's do uh, negative 1, 0, and then 2. Wherever y is, my x value is always 2, right? So if I was to plot that on a graph, x is 2 right here, it doesn't matter what value of y I pick, what does x always equal? 2. So it's just going to be a vertical line. All right? Then let's go and do a x, let's do a table for y equals 0. Now what does y always equal? 0. 0, 0, 0, 0. Doesn't matter what value of x I pick, but let's pick some values of x. Let's pick negative 2. Let's pick 2, 0. 1. At negative 2, what is y equal? 0. At 2, what is y equal? 0. 0. It always equals 0. So y equals 0 is actually the graph of the x-intercept. All right. So it's going to be a line along the x-intercept. Now remember, the solution is going to be a point that make both equations true. OK, Wendy? So that means it's going to be the intersection of your two graphs. So when looking up here, I say, where do these two lines intersect? And you can see they intersect at the point 2, comma, 0. So that is going to be your solution. Make sure you guys write that in. We want to write our solution, Ashley, in um, coordinate point form. Where they intersect. And correct. And if they intersect, all right, or there is a solution, then we call it a consistent Solution. So it's going to be consistent. Then if there's exactly one solution, all right, if there's exactly one solution, then it's independent. So this is independent consistent. All right? Any preguntas? Yes. It's going to be consistent if there's a solution. It'd be inconsistent if there's no solution. So if they don't intersect. Which would be what kind of lines? Parallel. parallel. So if they're parallel lines, then you'd have an inconsistent solution. No. There's inconsistent and, inconsistent and consistent. Consistent solution. Inconsistent, no solution. Right? Consistent solution, inconsistent, no solution. Yeah. Then, under your consistent, you have two different types of solutions. You can have one solution, or is it possible for these two lines to intersect once? Yes, right? Is it possible for them to intersect twice? No. no. Is it possible for them to inter is it possible for two lines to intersect? infinite many times? No. Well, if we put the line, if the lines are on top of each other, then they would intersect infinite many times. So that's when you'd have a um, dependent solution, dependent consistent solution. Because it has a solution, so it's consistent. But um, since, it, since there's uh, infinite many solutions, it is in, or sorry, it's dependent. So that is an independent consistent solution. Okay. 